Well, hello, welcome back to the channel and the second port day on the Western Caribbean Charm Cruise. And hello, if you're new, my name is Jessica. I am a fashion and travel blogger and I am cruising with Virgin Voyages on our second voyage, this time in the Caribbean. Today is our second port stop, as I just said, and we are in Roton, Honduras. It's an island off of the mainland and I am just already taken aback by just the amazing views, the blue water. I'm so excited to get off the ship and explore a little bit. I'm traveling with my husband and eight of our friends and we are about to head out on our excursion today. We're doing the ATV jungle excursion through Virgin Voyages shore things. So if you are interested or curious about this excursion, hopefully this video will give you some insight into what this experience is going to be like and if it's the right excursion for you to choose on your next Virgin Voyage. So follow along and uh, I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you what we get up to in Rotan. Once you disembark off the ship, it's a fairly short walk to the main port area. Here you'll find some bars, restaurants, and lots of shops to buy souvenirs. Like Costa Maya, it's pretty touristy, so in my opinion, the port area alone isn't really an exciting thing to check out. We followed the signs to our excursion meeting area and after a short wait, boarded this van to the first stop. As with any excursion, I would recommend bringing a little cash with you so you can tip your driver and guide as that is not included in the price of your excursion. Once you leave the port area, you'll see that there really isn't much, so very much like Costa Maya, I'd recommend booking an excursion at this port. All right, we're getting geared up. We get on our ATVs and ride to the jungle. When you arrive, you'll be able to pick a locker to store your belongings in. Then you'll watch a short safety video on how to ride and operate the ATVs. We're so adventurous. If you've never ridden an ATV before, don't worry. It was my first time too. I got the hang of it pretty quickly. Just know that you are required to wear closed toe shoes on this portion of the excursion. I highly suggest that you pack shoes and clothes that you don't mind getting muddy because it was really muddy out on the trail. I avoided getting too dirty by just going slowly through the puddles, but not everybody was quite that lucky. the ride is about 40 minutes and you'll go single file following your guide through the jungle. They do not allow you to bring cameras on the ATVs, though I clearly got sneaky and attached my GoPro to my backpack strap. If you want photos of yourself on the ride, you can purchase a photo package for about $35 a person and there is a photographer at various parts of the ride there to take photos for you. After the ATV tour is over, you'll receive all of your photos on a thumb drive. we were able to go during the tour wasn't all that fast so if you're a beginner there's not as much pressure but if you have a need for speed just know you might not get that on this experience some parts of the ride were a little challenging like this stretch here where there was tons of exposed tree roots so you had to go over them pretty carefully fun ride. Managed to not get too dirty. Top of the world! <laughs> but some people are filthy. 
so prepare to be dirty on this. The view is so beautiful. What do you think? Really slow. I had to pass him. Well, I tried to pass him. I'm trying to teach You killed it? Yeah. Oh, that's what happened? Yeah. What'd you do? I just kept stalling. <laughs> I was like, what is Ryan doing? Yeah, I was confused. When you get to the midpoint, you'll get off your ATVs for a water break and to get some fun photo ops. You can also have a monkey and a sloth on your shoulder for a couple minutes, but this costs $10 extra. <laughs> take into this beautiful private beach club to enjoy the rest of your afternoon. They have a bar and cafe, a little boutique, which I shopped in for a couple minutes. They have some really cute stuff in this boutique. So if you're into fashion, highly recommend popping in to check it out. You get to spend about two hours at this beach club. So you have plenty of time to kick back, relax, and enjoy this beautiful crystal blue water. Elise, are you trying to get the mud off? <laughs> it's not the vibe. It's not cute. It's not cute if you're trying to get content. <laughs> I think it feels great. So nice. I'm used to California where it's fucking cold no matter what day of the year it is, so this feels like great. It feels good though, it's refreshing. got to this beautiful beach club here. This is where they take you after you're done with your ATV. So you get a really cool little mix of like fun, adventure, and then to come here and just relax by this beautiful ocean. Um, I think Elise and Omid and our group are gonna get on this little boat and go do a snorkeling excursion from here. It costs $35 a person. So definitely an option if you come on this excursion, something you can do here at the beach if you don't want to just lay out. They have like one of the biggest coral reefs here in Honduras. It's the second largest in the world after the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So they're going to go check that out. Um, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely so beautiful. So if you love snorkeling, um, definitely something to do if you come on this excursion because I'm sure it's an incredible experience. But I'm going to go back over with the rest of the group because you actually get included a welcome drink. It's like a rum punch cocktail and uh, complimentary appetizer with your excursion ticket. So I'm getting a little hungry. I'm gonna go dig in. Woo! Water is kind of chilly, not gonna lie. Oh, Red and I, uh, we should wreck our boats. If somebody could send rum, Help? Yes, yeah. please send the Coast Guard. SOS! <laughs> we sunk our ship! Alright, went ahead and got a little rum and coconut water, a nice, light, healthy option. A lot of their cocktails are really sugary. Uh, I don't really love sugary drinks, so they can definitely make you something with fresh coconut water and it's so yummy. The prices are a little like American prices though, so just be prepared for that. Bye, Elise! Bye. Have fun! <laughs> Where's your husband? Hey, let's go! You got it, man. Go get him. Alright, thank you. Mr. Shots, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, thanks. Have fun!
Not gonna lie, seeing Elise's footage from the GoPro from the little bit that her and Omid went out and snorkeled really made me wish that I was a more confident snorkeler because it just looked absolutely incredible down there. And they said the reef here is just more stunning than any reef that they have snorkeled and they've been to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So Did I you just, guys have a fun time? It was so beautiful. It was stunning. It was like the Little Mermaid down there. Like all kinds of coral. We saw a stingray. It was just like so beautiful. Oh yeah, we saw live um, conch in the shell. What? It looked delicious. Yum. Back on the ship, we had such a fun day in Rotan. The ATV jungle adventure was a lot of fun. I thought it was the perfect mix of something that's like really fun and high energy and adventurous with, you know, the nice relaxing aspect of going to that gorgeous beach. So I think it's a really fun way to spend your afternoon in Rotan. I would highly recommend doing an excursion when you come to Rotan on this cruise. Um, this one was a lot of fun. Highly recommend. Make sure if you're, you haven't checked out our Costa Maya, port stop you can check that one out next and check out our full cruise experience on the western caribbean charm itinerary right here i'll see you guys on those videos make sure to subscribe if you're not already give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or it was fun to watch see you all over here and if not i'll see you on the next one bye